Okay, here it is. Today is the 21st of January and I forgot to record yesterday's video. Not for any good reason, just because I was in the car, we were traveling, it was the last day of our trip and I just totally forgot. And uh, there's no real good reason there. Here's a dog though, and she is so surprised that she is in the video today. But that's okay, because that's her, that's her thing. Anyway, I'm looking at this realizing that I look fat. I'm not actually as fat as I look in this video. Um, and that's okay, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, so today I am, I get a lot of exercise in expressing self-compassion. And this is especially cool, and compassion to others as well, because this is especially cool because I am working on my next book, which is about self-compassion. And as luck would have it, I get a lot of opportunities um, to work on it. And uh, just like just like when I was working on the Unicorn book, I got a lot of opportunities to question whether that was a valid book for me to write, um, because a lot of times I don't feel very much like a unicorn. I feel very struggly. And um, today is another example of that. I'm getting feedback from the initial readers of the book and some of it is um, not positive. Out of 17 responses, 16 have been positive. And yet I read the one that is not positive and I spin out into complete fear and oh no, maybe I shouldn't do this and oh geez, maybe I should rethink this and oh, it's so stupid. It is really, really, really difficult to cope with the inside of my head sometimes. And, uh, you know, as, as I even hear myself talk saying, oh, that's so stupid, I know I need to be more gentle with myself and I need to have more compassion towards myself. And, um, and that is something that I really struggle with. And um, it's, it's a challenge and one that I know I'm up to the challenge of. And um, in a lot of ways, I know that that's the reason I'm writing the book. I mean, that's the reason I'm writing the book. That's the reason I am obsessively checking the feedback because I need to write this book. And that's the reason that all of this, it's all, it's all connected and it's all wonderful and it's all part of the process. So anyway, that's my journal entry for today is not beating myself up about missing a journal entry for yesterday. I knew I might miss a journal entry now and then. I did not expect that it would be this month but that's okay, it's okay. One journal entry a month is practically what I, uh, what I anticipated. So um, yeah, I mean, I have 10 that I said I would be able to miss and now I have nine and that's okay. That is why I built that thing in. And I made a list of all the priorities in my life and doing a daily video blog is not the highest. That's it. But what is the highest is uh, finishing, is, is getting to be a uh, author and getting my book out there. And that is the highest priority. And that means that even if, like the whatever needs to happen to make that happen, right Sadie, right. Um, whatever needs to happen to make that happen is something I need to prioritize. So that means not letting the negative feedback get to me, just being a juggernaut through that. And that means meditating when I need to meditate, like in a few minutes when this video stops uploading. Like so that I can get back to work, so that I can get back to writing about self-compassion, so that I can get back to practicing what I need to practice. So here we are. Sadie doesn't mind. Right? No. And it's exciting. I actually feel better about this. I recorded a video um, back 10 minutes ago and it didn't upload and I'm so glad because I looked at it and I was like, you know what? I can do better. I am better than this. And so here we are. 
expressing self-compassion, learning how to do self-compassion, acknowledging that I have weaknesses, like looking at the feedback constantly, and acknowledging that I need to do something different about it. Um, of like, you know, um, uh, meditating, not getting the things in the, you know what I had done? I had set up the feedback so that every time somebody noted somebody filled out the survey i would get a email and it would pop up on my phone so then like all of a sudden i'm a cork on the water of and every individual feedback that comes in that is ridiculous i cannot do that i turn that notification off and it just isn't that is not how i need my day to go in order for me to achieve my highest goals and that, part of that, you know, garbage in, garbage out. You gotta watch what garbage you put in so that you can make sure that you put out the things that you need to put out. And, you know, definitely I need to pay attention to that negative feedback. There's certain parts of it that need to be listened to and heard. But, but I need to, I, I need to, to also accept the fact that not everybody is correct. <laughs> my designer said uh, my designer said some feedback is helpful most of it is not and I said you know what how about this you just decide which illustrations work best in the book and I will assume that any you left out you left out because we didn't have space and she's cool with that so uh, it is really really an a joy to work with people who are so cool and and good about things and we all make mistakes and we all um, adjust things and I really feel like we are putting together a dream team here and uh, with my publisher and with my uh, Ruth my co-worker and um, the I, I just feel like we're putting together a dream team and between all of us, we are going to be able to achieve great things as long as we, as long as we keep the cause moving forward. And that means, that means keeping the cause moving forward. Anyway, that is my reflection for today. Here is a close-up of this small dog. Look at that. Oh my gosh, isn't she cute? Yes, she's so very sweet. And she's not even the cutest dog that I have. No, she's, she's the hideous one. She's the one that, that we call the small hideous rat. We call her the runt. She doesn't speak English, so she has no idea what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is not, this is, this is Sadie and she's really great. But, um, and she's terrific moral support when I feel low. And I pet her and that's the trade-off we have. So anyway, it is a it is it is a very cool day here. I'm glad for this. I'm glad for this opportunity. Now to unpack.